Yo, what's going on everyone? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gates Village here today to share uh, some of my Maltese progress since the last uh, little progress update video I made. This has uh, sets from, I believe, March 21st all the way to April 2nd, which was uh, this past Friday. So, super cool. And I say this as the guy, I say this in the most humble way possible, and as the guy who made the video... <laughs> This is pure fire. Honestly, I think it is. This is freaking sick. I can't wait to show you guys these clips. Um, and then another small update, uh, YouTube short. By now, you guys have seen a couple YouTube shorts from me uh, because shorts are now available in the US. So I think I'm going to start messing around with those a little bit more. Um, don't worry. It's not going to overtake the three main videos I do per week. If anything, this is just bonus content and a better way to and just a way to engage a little bit more with you guys. So I really hope you guys like the shorts. And without further ado, let's get into these awesome Maltese cliffs. Okay, everybody. So here it is, the first hold on uh, March 21st. Kind of just a little warm up, but I do think it's looking pretty nice. After that, I believe I move on to some of the uh, <clears throat> some straddle work to negative because my main goal uh, before I take my next three day break, which I'm taking right now was to get full Maltese press. So the one thing I was really focusing on <clears throat> was, uh, negatives, basically just straddle presses into full negatives. And you're going to see going for holds here, and you're going to notice that the parallettes are actually pretty close. That is because Maltese, the width, it simply does not matter what matters with Maltese is how low you are. So you can have a wide grip planche and a Maltese at the exact same width. The only thing that really matters with Maltese is how low you are. And you're even going to see it on these sets. I start in wide planche and I lower down. I drop down into Maltese and I really like doing this set. I think it... <clears throat> It's pretty helpful for me, and uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to actually enter the Maltese itself as well. Um, and so what you guys are going to see here is I am messing with the Parallette grip. I've got him turned out to the side just a little bit uh, for some ring simulation because that's pretty much how your grip is <clears throat> when you are on the rings. So um, we are now moving in to some stuff on the floor on days where I feel really, really good. I'll go ahead and work floor and P-bars. Now, I will say that on my <clears throat> floor Maltese, I really do need to work on getting it lower. Um, I understand I need to work on that. One thing I do just want to say to some of the people in the comments, um, nobody likes to know it all, okay? So just understand that I know what a Maltese is. I know exactly what my goals are. I know what I'm working towards. If I want help or advice, I will ask for it. Um, yeah, just nobody likes to know it all, and I think we can all understand that. So moving on, we are on the 25th. I skipped the workout on the 23rd because you guys have actually seen that in the floor frustration part one video. That was the session that came from the 23rd. So, oh, and here I decided to be cool to get some different angles. <clears throat> For the Maltese, so we're starting out once again, kind of dropping into Maltese <clears throat> on these holds, and yeah, it looks like I'm just going to town with the holds on this day, locking it in right there. Oh my god, <laughs> nice. Yeah, sometimes looking back at these, I don't realize how good the session actually was, and then we've got a side view here. <clears throat> looks like I got a couple of them from the side, just once again, yeah, I really like starting in wide planche and just leaning forward. Uh, so I can drop down into malt and, uh, yeah, I guess I'm on the floor on these days cause it was <clears throat> feeling pretty good floor. Just, it still needs a ton of work. Um, honestly, every time I do a floor set, it always looks a lot worse than I think it does. Like, like when I'm doing these floor holds, I'm like, Oh wow, that was such a good hold. It was long, good form. And then I look at it and I'm like, Oh man, that really wasn't great. But <clears throat> Regardless, I'm still pretty happy with how these uh, floor sets turned out on this day, especially after the parallel bar work. <clears throat> um, and then we come in to March 27th, which is a pretty interesting day because it, it's after that session on the 25th, which was pretty good. But I still think I did manage 
to swing in a couple of good floor holds. Uh, once again, I do need to get a little bit lower, but for my purposes and what I'm doing, I got to say it's really good. And um, a lot of people have actually been asking me, like, dude, when are you going to start rings? Have you tried Maltese on rings? Can you Maltese on rings? Um, <laughs> and so I really think that with where I am now, and you guys are going to see the stuff from these days, I think that I'm ready to start rings in like maybe late to mid April at the earliest and definitely in May because in May it'll be after the uh, week off. So I'll be officially ready to start rings then. But anyway, right here. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Okay. This is just a full negative because <laughs> we're about to see what I go for and we're going to see if I can do it. We are lining up for a full Maltese press, what I've been chasing for so long. Can I do it? Up, up, up. Oh, man. Lower down. Let's control it. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. One wasn't enough for me. So I had to try it again. Zing. <laughs> Let's go, baby. One thing I got to say, though, I got to... um. Next time I do these full Maltese presses, whenever I do them... I got to just let it rip on the negatives because you guys see that <clears throat> I lower down so slowly on the negative that it's like I'm just screwing myself up when I actually get down there and hold it. So when I work full Maltese press again, I'm just simply going to lower down just as fast as I can and just try to hold it in the spot. I come back to the floor again because this day of the 29th was like – this was pretty much like the peak session as you guys can tell by the pressing – um, and then, yes, we got a couple floor holds here. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, looking nice on, on the floor hold. A lot better uh, than it has been. And then, okay, watch this. This is heat. All right, full planche press. One. Two. Three. Uh, four. <laughs> All right, watch, watch, watch. To dead planche. Yeah, baby. <laughs> then I fall. Like I, I think I think what I did, I tried to push it back up to planche, but no way was that happening. But that's crazy. Full Maltese press unlock. And then I'm just going to town on full planche presses, doing sets of four and then and then three. That is insanity. Um yeah, it's just crazy how, how far my planche has come since doing Maltese and not even really training planche at all. And then we come to April 2nd, and by now, this is the last day before the three days off, and by now I am just completely fried. So I'm trying to work on this set, full planche press to, well, it's supposed to be full planche press uh, to full Maltese negative, but I was just doing full planche press to straddle Maltese negative. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do the full set someday. But um, and then yeah, form on the planches definitely not looking great. But you gotta understand, guys. On this day, I was shot and randomly try floor full Maltese press. Somehow muscle it out a little bit, but uh, form was pretty bad at the beginning and range of motion was pretty bad. But honestly, the fact that I was able to do that when I was completely fried, uh, I gotta say. Pretty excited about that, and uh, I'm ready to try full Maltese press uh, within the next month, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do full Maltese press on the floor. And final set of the video, we are just going to try a full Maltese hold on the floor, not looking super good, just fall, hit the ground, and that is pretty much it. Okay, everybody, so that is the little uh, Maltese uh, post-com session. Uh, so yeah, super happy about the those sets. <clears throat> And that progress, um, yeah, I'm going to just keep it up. So realistically, though, the plan is, for those of you that are concerned about rings, because a lot of people really have been asking, uh, so weather's looking pretty good. So um, I think I might try to get out there at some point at during like mid-April, kind of like experiment a little bit with rings, like because I, I can planche on the rings, so um, might just mess around with planche within the next month on rings to really get a good feel for it, really get that uh, comfortable. My plan, I mean, on rings, I'm comfortable enough in planche to move the rings around. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I think I'm just going to maybe do like a couple of Maltese attempts on rings in mid-April 
and maybe even some straddle Maltese. And then when I take the full week off at the beginning of May, then I'll come back. And that is when like the official ring grind will really start. <clears throat> so just thought I'd chat with you guys for those of you wondering, but I am very excited to start training on rings. Really excited. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for checking out the video. If you like the video, please like the video. Also hit me with a nice subscribe, no jutsu, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.